In this video, I'm going to talk about what is semantic SEO, what it is, what is its important and how we can use this particular keywords in our content. Hello friends, I'm Shivani Goyal, welcome in WS Cube Tech. So let's start with a brief definition on semantic. What is semantic here? So semantic is the study of meaning in language. It can be explained to single text or to a single similar word. So basically semantic means a similar. Similar means that any word which meaning is similar to your particular keyword here. Let's suppose if I'm using any particular keyword that is digital. So what is the semantic of this digital marketing keyword here? So similar is your online marketing. So what is this online marketing keyword here? This is the semantic keyword of this particular keyword. Okay. So after your semantic keyword, this is a good example. If I'm using a word that is child, so it means kid, son, daughter. They all belonging to this particular word. So these all are the semantic keywords and all these words technically means a child, but each has its own subtle shade of the meaning. Okay. So this is called as semantic here. Now the question is, what is semantic search? What exactly the semantic search means? As we understand what is semantics, but what is semantic search here? So understanding the meaning of the query instead of simply looking for literal maxes. This is known as your semantic search here. Today, Google is not only work like you simple enter your query here, and corresponding to your query, if any particular result having this particular query, Google will show here. This policy is not up by Google. Today, Google try to show you as possible result which is related to your particular query. Because now if you mention any query, any particular keyword or a phrase, so Google just try to understand that particular topic. And corresponding to this topic, Google find every possible information and showcase you every possible result either in the form of knowledge map, either in the form of Google answer, in the form of paid result, in the form of organic result, as well as Google also give you options like people also search, auto suggestion, so that they just get to know about in which particular topic you want to search out your information is. So that's why today it is really important to understand about the semantic search here. So semantic search means that the search which is related to your primary keyword here. Understanding your user's intent within a specific content. If your user simply mention any information, so just to understand that particular intent, Within a specific content, we are using semantic search here, shorting through hundreds of the billions of the web pages, answering the query in the best possible way, we are using semantic search here. Okay, let's suppose here you are mentioning digital marketing and you want to know any information regarding this. And here, if we have any information regarding online marketing, then Google will also showcase this particular result here because this is relevant to your semantic search here. Okay. So the result of the semantic search brings together the aggregate information from several websites just to answer the query in more detail. Best possible example right now we have, let's suppose if I simply mention one query on Google, that is when Eiffel Tower built. Okay, here I can see that corresponding to this particular keyword, here we have this much result in this particular time. Okay, and now Google show me up exact answer about this without opening any particular site and similarly also show me these related keywords here. Okay, these are also the best possible keywords which people are using searching for. So this is known as your related keywords here. Okay, so we get both the correct answer and the information about the other possible attractions along with their construction date. Okay. So now the question is what is semantic SEO? So semantic SEO is the process of optimizing your content for a topic instead of a keyword or a phrase. So here we work on a particular topic. Here we are using our best possible semantic words in the content. Answering additional questions to complement the query, we are using semantic SEO here. 
So semantic SEO search result page can include your knowledge panel. What is this knowledge panel here? On your Google, when you search about some person, some personality, here you can find that in the sidebar, you can get a Wikipedia here. This is this type of Wikipedia page here. So this is known as knowledge panel here. Okay, in case of your knowledge panel, this is your semantic SEO search result. Search console filled with entities, we can find that. Next is the feature snippet that may answer questions about the entity in a query. Related questions, that is the people also ask related and entities. So we can figure out all these things in our search result. Next is what is latent semantic indexing, which we called as LSI. So latent semantic SI is a system that allow Google to identify other keywords surrounding to the main keyword. So the keyword which you use to optimize your content in order to get a better idea of the context. So this make it easier to truly identify the subject of your content and to rank it accordingly to the relevant search query. So this is your latent semantic index here. Okay. So when you do keyword research for your content, you should also do LSI keyword research just to spot those keywords and provide Google with the proper context. So this is all about what semantic keyword is, what is your latent semantic index and why we use that. So thank you so much for watching this video.